Okay, we have a new members. We have a new members inquiry class. You're just interested to be a member of Asbury United Methodist Church. Prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. Prayers, you agree to pray for the church. Presence, all come. Prayers, presence, gifts, you'll support the church. Tithes and offerings. Service, you will offer what you can for the kingdom of God. Could be making Easter eggs. Boy, our phone's been ringing. But we write down everybody's name who called. So we'll, we'll call them next year. Amen. Prayers, presents, gifts, service, um, and witness that you will be a witness to your Lord and to your Savior. The inquiry class is last Tuesday of the month. Hope you can come. Amen. No obligation. Just come and learn what it's all about. Uh, we continue our Wednesday Bible study with the Lord's Prayer. This past week we did May Your Kingdom Come. May Your Will Be Done on Earth as it is in Heaven. Very exciting. We're learning all kinds of new things. Good stuff. And uh, this week we're concentrating on Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread. Uh, Hey, we have quiet communion and prayer here in the sanctuary at the altar from 7 a.m. till noon. And uh, I invite you to just come and, and, and be with the Lord. Amen. Now we're, we're going to begin to uh, shift into our prayer time. There are just so, so many needs we have. Uh, continue to pray for uh, David Perez. For Jack, the family of John Ben, the family of Catherine Murphy, the Clark family, for comfort, uh, comfort in their loss for Doug Sells, that has surgery scheduled April 1st, for Ray Reed, uh, and just, we have so many, many needs. But before we pray this morning, um, Vandella Poe just feels like she has a special message from the Lord she would like to share with us, and then we'll pray. Amen. Good morning, my church family. Good morning. Good morning. I know that many of us find it hard to believe that God still communicates with his people, whether through dreams, visions, and yes, believe it or not, when you are not expecting it, even in person. Hebrews 13, 8 says, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Acts 2.17, and it will be in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy, and your young men will see visions, and your elders will dream dreams. Acts 5.29, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a few months ago a message from God to the church was filled in a dream. Since receiving this message, like Jacob in the book of Genesis, I have been deeply troubled in my spirit, wrestling with God with many prayers, supplicating, fasting, seeking the Lord's help, guidance, strength, courage, and for the Holy Spirit to speak for me in relaying this message to the church. And so with confirmation upon confirmation from the Lord, here I stand. And like Peter, I must be obedient to God, not man, woman, or child. But to God, I pray for all to be able to receive it. In this dream, there was a particular person a clearly beloved member of this church who is no longer with us. The name is not important, nor is it warranted, but the warning is. This person in this dream was crying, sobbing, weeping, asking over and over again, why am I here in this dark place? Why, why, why? My brothers and sisters in Christ, 
This dream sent an arrow through my heart and shook me to the very core of my soul, even still to this day. My dear little beloved family, as you know, there are no guarantees or promises about tomorrow. In the book of Revelation, Jesus states, Behold, I am coming as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. The Apostle Paul in Philippians 2.12 reminds us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. The season of Lent is an opportune time to reflect on what it means to be a follower of Christ, to inner reflect, to repent of our misdeeds, and for renewal. I pray and hope that each of us seriously take this to God in prayer, asking if and how this message affects me and my walk with the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us keep in mind that we are family, and we have a real enemy, Satan, who detests, despises, and outright hates us, and strategically utilizes anything and everything in his power to destroy the body of God's church, including putting us against one another. John 13, 34, Jesus said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You are also to love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. My dear beloved family in Christ, let us encourage, edify, motivate, support, strengthen, and ask Jesus as, as Jesus has commanded us to do, to love one another. First Thessalonians, I pray in Jesus' name, may the Lord make us to increase and abound in love towards one another and toward all, even as we do toward you. Let us strive to be the church God has called us to be. Love and peace be with you all. Thank you. Conversation yesterday with a pastor yesterday, or actually last night. He said, "You know, I don't. We don't live by the golden rule. We have something so much better than that. We live by the titanium rule. It trumps the gold rule. The golden rule. We have something better." Jesus said to us, "Just as I have loved you." So you are to love one another. Down on a cross for our sins. Amen? Amen. Amen. You don't get higher than that. Let's pray together. Let's come to the Lord and add to the prayer.
Help us to pay attention to you, to your word. And what you say to us directly this morning in the gospel lesson today. God, we just continue to pray your word. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. And Lord, we remember that if ever we pray wrong, you answer right. Again, we pray. If we ever pray wrong, may you answer right for each of us. Bless us this morning, Lord, we pray. Bless us that we may be a blessing in your kingdom. And help us to remember, Lord, that the time is short and the call is real. Change us where we need to be changed. Lord, we ask you for forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Lord, and again, I say that for everyone praying this morning. For praying, those praying online. Help us again, Lord, to pay attention to you. Help us to hear your wake-up call. Vladimir Putin. 
We pray that you help him to stop what he is doing. Pray for President Zarensky. Help us, Lord. Lord, have mercy on the many refugees. Lord, have mercy. And Lord, more than anything, help us, give us a hunger to follow you. Help us to want you more than anything else in our lives. And again, as you have taught us, we pray this special prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for Lord, hold us close, keep us safe, help us to walk in your ways, even through the valley of the shadow of death. In your name.